Welcome to Yes Nursing. My name is Wes, and today you will learn a simple and easy method to master weight-based calculations for nursing school and NCLEX. So let's jump into it. A weight-based IV drug to be administered at a rate of 4 micrograms per kilogram per minute is prescribed by the doctor. The patient weighs 145 pounds. A 350 mg per 350 ml bag of the IV medicine is given to you. How many milliliters per hour will you administer? Record your answer using one decimal place. First, set up the formula, desired over half times quantity. Desire is the dose that the provider order for the patient. Have is what you have on hand. And quantity can be capsules, tablets, or milliliters. There is a memory trick to remember this formula. Just imagine a duck on a horse quacking. The next step is to add the unit answer, milliliters per hour, because the question is asking, how many milliliters per hour will you administer? Now that the formula is ready, we need to plug in the numbers. Start with half and quantity, because they are usually given to you and they come together. So, for this problem, it is 350 milligrams in 350 milliliters. For desired, you will plug in the doctor's order, 4 micrograms of medication for every 1 kilogram of patient's weight per minute. However, you will notice that we need to do some conversions. Convert microgram to milligram to match the unit on the bottle, so they can cancel out. The patient's weight was given in pounds needs to be converted to kilogram to calculate the prescribed dose. And minute needs to be converted to hour because the answer needs to be in hour. First, convert microgram to milligram. 4 microgram divided by 1000 is 0.004 milligram. Notice that you are converting from a smaller unit, microgram, to a larger unit, milligram, so you will have a small number. Now convert pounds to kilograms. 145 pounds divided by 2.2 is 65.90 kilogram. Finally, calculate the prescribed dose in milligrams per hour. 0.04 milligrams times 65.90 kilogram times 60 minutes is 15.81 milligrams per hour. Now plug the answer in the formula and calculate it. 15.81 milligrams per hour divided by 350 milligrams times 350 milliliters. Milligram cancels out and the answer is 15.81 milliliters per hour. And last, round to one decimal place. Since the hundredth digit is between 0 and 4, you would round down by keeping the tenth place the same. And the final answer is 15.8 milliliters per hour. The doctor prescribes 4 mL equivalent per kilogram of 8.4% sodium bicarbonate IV to be administered over the next 6 hours. The client weighs 250 pounds. And the pharmacy supplies the following IV solution, 8.4% sodium bicarbonate in 2,000 milliliters of D5W with 300 mL equivalent. At what rate in milliliters per hour should the nurse set the infusion pump? Record your answer using a whole number. First, set up the formula desired over half times quantity. To remember it, don't forget our crazy duck on a horse quacking. The next step is to add the unit answer, milliliters per hour, because the question is asking, at what rate in milliliters per hour should the nurse set the infusion pump? Now that the formula is ready, we need to plug in the numbers. Start with half and quantity, which is 2000 milliliters of D5W with 300 mL equivalent of sodium bicarbonate. For desired, you will plug in the doctor's order, 4 mL equivalent per kilogram over 6 hours. But you will notice that we need to do some conversions. The patient's weight was given in pounds needs to be converted to kilogram. And the prescribed dose to be administered over 6 hours needs to be calculated as prescribed hourly dose. First, convert pounds to kilograms. 
250 pounds divided by 2.2 is 113.63 kilogram. Now calculate the prescribed hourly dose. 4 milliequivalent times 113.63 kilogram divided by 6 hours is 75.75 milliequivalent per hour. Now plug the answer in the formula and calculate it. 75.75 milliequivalent per hour divided by 300 milliequivalent times 2000 milliliters. Milliequivalent cancels out and the answer is 505.05 milliliters per hour. Make sure you do not forget to round to a whole number. Since the 10th digit is between 0 and 4, you will round down by keeping the ones place the same. And the final answer is 505 milliliters per hour. The nurse is about to administer a 7 microgram per kilogram per minute continuous dopamine infusion. The client is 224 pounds and the prescribed prescription has 450 milligrams of dopamine in 270 milliliters of D5W. How many milliliters per hour should the nurse set the infusion pump's flow rate at? Record your answer using one decimal place. First, set up the formula desired over half times quantity. The next step is to add the unit answer, milliliters per hour, because the question is asking how many milliliters per hour should the nurse set the infusion pump's flow rate at? With the formula ready, we need to plug in the numbers. Start with half and quantity, because they are usually given to you and they come together. So for this problem, it is 450 milligrams of dopamine in 270 milliliters of D5W. For desired, you will plug in the doctor's order, 7 microgram per kilogram per minute. But you will notice that we need to do some conversions. Convert microgram to milligram to match the unit on the bottle so they can cancel out. The patient's weight was given in pounds, needs to be converted to kilogram to calculate the prescribed dose. And minute needs to be converted to hour because the question is asking in hour. First, convert microgram to milligram. 7 microgram divided by 1000 is 0 0.007 milligram. Now, convert pounds to kilograms. 224 pounds divided by 2.2 is 101.81 kilogram. Now, calculate the prescribed dose in milligrams per hour. 0.007 milligrams times 101.81 kilograms times 60 minutes is 42.76 milligrams per hour. Finally, plug the answer in the formula and calculate it. 42.76 milligrams per hour divided by 450 milligrams times 270 milliliters. Milligram cancels out and the answer is 25.65 milliliters per hour. Don't forget to round to one decimal place. Since the hundredth digit is a number between 5 and 9, you will round up the number in the tenth place. So the final answer is 25.7 milliliters per hour. A dobutamine IV infusion is recommended for a patient with heart failure. Dobutamine is present in a 500 mg in 1000 ml D5W concentration. At what rate in milliliters per hour should the nurse program the IV pump? Record your answer as a whole number. Check the box below for additional information. First, set up the formula, desired over half times quantity. Now add the unit answer, milliliter per hour, because the question is asking, at what rate in milliliters per hour should the nurse program the IV pump? With the formula ready, we need to plug in the numbers. Start with half and quantity. 500 mg in 1000 ml D5W concentration. For desired, you will plug in the doctor's order, 12 microgram per kilogram per minute. But you notice that we need to do some conversions. 
convert microgram to milligram to match the unit on the bottle so they can cancel out. The patient's weight is already in kilogram, so you do not need to convert it. And minute needs to be converted to hour because the question is asking in hour. First, convert the dose in micrograms to milligrams. 12 microgram divided by 1000 is 0 0.12 milligrams. Now, calculate the prescribed dose in milligrams per kilogram. 0 0.12 milligrams times 75 kilograms is 0 0.9 milligrams. Then, calculate the dose in milligrams per hour. 0 0.9 milligrams times 60 minutes is 54 milligrams per hour. Now, plug the answer in the formula and calculate it. 54 milligrams per hour divided by 500 milligrams times 1000 milliliters. Milligram cancels out and the answer is 108 milliliters per hour. While working in the ER, you are checking the drip rates of your vasoactive infusions. Your patient is ordered to have epinephrine running at 0.04 microgram per kilogram per minute. Their weight is 12 kilograms. The concentration of the epinephrine bag is 25 microgram to 2 milliliters. What rate should the pump be set to? Record your answer using one decimal place. First, set up the formula desired over half times quantity. Use the memory trick to remember it. Just imagine a duck on a horse quacking. Now, add the unit answer, milliliters per hour. You might be asking, why milliliters per hour? That's because the volume that we're working with is in milliliters, and it is implied that the pump rate is per hour. You need to know that. Now that the formula is ready, we need to plug in the numbers. Start with half and quantity, because they are usually given to you and they come together. So for this problem, it is 25 microgram to 2 milliliters. For desired, you will plug in the doctor's order, 0.04 microgram per kilogram per minute. But you will notice that we need to do some conversions. Since the medication prescribed is in microgram, like the unit at the bottle, and the patient's weight was given in kilogram, the only conversion needed is minutes to hour. First, let's calculate the total dose in micrograms per minute. 0.04 micrograms times 12 kilograms times 1 minute is 0.48 micrograms per minute. Then, convert the dose to micrograms per hour. 0 0.48 micrograms times 60 minutes. That's because you have 60 minutes in one hour. And the answer is 28.8 micrograms per hour. Now, plug the answer in the formula and calculate it. 28.8 micrograms per hour divided by 25 micrograms times 2 milliliters. Microgram cancels out, and the answer is 2.30 milliliters per hour. Finally, round to one decimal place. Since the hundredth digit is between 0 and 4, you would round down by keeping the tenth place the same. And the final answer is 2.3 milliliters per hour.